What's up, YouTube, and welcome to Codename Scream. I am that horror guy. And I'm Mel. And we are back with another Team Chris versus Team Mel series video thingy. Something? Series? I don't know. It's something. You, I don't you, even have anything to say to that. Yeah. Just keep <laughs> We're just going to go with that because it's already here and it's less editing for me. So um, if you haven't been paying attention to this point, uh, we are letting the patrons over at patreon.com slash codename scream dictate all of the content you lovely people are watching this month. Uh, both of us pick two movies a week. The polls go up on a Sunday, come down on a Tuesday, gives us a chance to watch whatever we're going to watch. We have no idea what we're going to. We just know we have four movies and two of them are coming out of this. Yep. And uh, currently the standings as they are, uh, we have Team Mel with a uh, four to one yep. going into this week. Uh, so uh, what are we starting off this week with? This one was yours, wasn't it? No, this one was yours. Was it? Yeah. What was this up against? <laughs> the Devil's Rejects. Oh, yeah, the other one mm -hmm. was yours. Yep, the other one is mine. Yeah, at the end of the week, you get a Team Chris victory. Okay. Finally. <laughs> well, this was the one I didn't think was going to win. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. <laughs> I thought for sure the Devil's Rejects would take it. We Yeah, we thought that, but then we both were like, we're going to just go back and do that anyway. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I'm kind of happy this one. Yeah. A, because it's mine. And that they just the, remembered. Oh, no. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we all know that everyone's voting just because you like me better. Yeah. We, the, we clearly, all are... that's the case because who chooses the babysitter over the devil's rejects? Yeah. <laughs> clearly, we all, we all know who the, the superior co host is. And that's okay. The super host. The super host, even. <laughs> um, that's an inside joke that yep. no one got. Yep. But we're uh, not doing a certain video this week because someone didn't watch it, and so we're just scrapping it all together. But it's well, we're going no, we're going to come back and watch it next week. You guys will get another sure. this week. You guys are getting a whole bunch of other fun this week. You're getting a new videos, another reaction. So it makes up for that's the fact true. that yeah, I just didn't do my homework. Yep, that's fine. That's okay. Anyway, this anyways, week. With this week back to our regularly scheduled creeping. Um, <laughs> just sounds like you're outside of someone's window. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Anyways. we are doing my pick that won this week, The Babysitter. Uh, released October 13th, 2017. It was released. It, released. Released? <laughs> it was released. <laughs> <-loused>. it, was, <laughs> <laughs> it was released exclusively on Netflix, uh, directed by the easiest name that I can totally <laughs> say. <laughs> you went this way. Mick G. Yep. Uh, written by... Brian Duffield, who also wrote a movie that I love a lot called Underwater. I have not watched that. We'll get to it. We'll get to it, though. And it's a great movie. <laughs> so if you're watching this now, in a several months from now, you already know what I think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, this was produced by Mick G, Mary Viola, and Zach Schiller. Some pretty easy names for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, well, I'm going to complain because uh, usually I, I talk to you guys about budgets and finances, none of which I got privy to anywhere. Nope. There were some numbers that floated around that said it was a box office, but I'm pretty sure that's what streaming revenue, revenue would have uh, come to. Which you can't even, like, really trust. You can't really even trust that because we don't even know what they were up against. So my job is null and void this week. That was easy. <laughs> but there was some critic scores and some audience scores. There was, and they're not too far off. Critics score a 72%, audience of 62%. Not so, bad. Not terrible and pretty close, not drastically different. So. Yeah, not at all. Um, this movie is still available on Netflix for all of you, mm -hmm. so the link is in the description below as always for you to check it out. Um, we're just going to quick talk about the film, uh, just what kind of synopsis-ish. Mm -hmm. It's not really a synopsis anymore. We're going kind of spoiler-free. It's like the diet. It's the same. Uh, <laughs> it's the same flavor. New look, you know. Over diet here, YouTube. diet YouTube. <laughs> so uh, we're yeah, we're just gonna you know quickly talk about it with you guys. Um, but this uh, surrounds uh, Cole, who has a babysitter that is a little uh, interesting to say the least. <laughs> There's a it. nice way of putting it. Yeah. So uh, Cole gets bullied in school, um, and then uh, the babysitter comes in, takes care of some business. So then they're all like, hey, you should, um, you know, 
pretend you're going to sleep and find out what your babysitter is doing when you're in bed because that's not creepy. Five minutes into this movie, if this was real life, she would have been arrested. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> but no. <laughs> yeah, they uh, uh, end up... Uh, it turns out there's a bit of a cult thing going on between her and her friends, um, and they stab a guy with uh, two daggers in the head. Mm -hmm. And it that was just, awesome. It was pretty sweet. And then we just go into a pretty amazing storyline where there's a huge body count, gruesome kills, mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. um, the They are trying to take blood from Cole, saying it's for a science project because they don't know that he knows. <laughs> we don't know, but you know. <laughs> yeah, and this whole thing started because they were like, do you ever wonder what your babysitter does after you go to sleep? Yep. She has her boyfriend over, mm -hmm. so he decides to stay up to see what happens after he goes to sleep. And I bet he was yeah. wishing that he walked in on some fun between the two of them yep. instead of what he's yep. like. Yeah, absolutely. I don't blame him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then we're going to get to the end that I'm not going to tell you about because yeah. you're going to go ahead and watch it because it's in the link down here. So check it out. Yeah. I know. It's brief. I know. We used to spoon feed these things to you guys. No longer. Yeah. No longer. We want you guys to take an opportunity to watch these and really enjoy them with us. Mm -hmm. And then come back and then discuss it with us. Because yep. that's what the fun here is. Yep. Um, what do we have for, uh, speaking of fun. Uh, not really much fun happening no, over not. here. <laughs> um, because you can't find anything on this movie. Downside of these exclusives, there's um, not a lot of behind the scenes, not a lot of things that we get privy to. And, like, I even listened to some, like, interviews and stuff, and they're still, like, they didn't really give anything away, like, behind the scenes-wise no. about it. So, I found a couple things mildly interesting. Uh, the movie was filmed in 2015, but it wasn't released till 2017. It was supposed to be shown in theaters, but then Netflix acquired the rights to it. I personally would have loved to see this in theaters. Yeah, this would have been sweet. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Like that's I kind of get bummed when things are exclusives, um, except Shutter exclusives. Yeah, because it's just on Shutter and that makes it cool. But Netflix exclusives kind of lame when it could be something super cool. Maybe. Well, they tone it down a lot more because it's a much wider audience. Yeah. Whereas Shudder is definitely aimed at the niche crowd. Yeah, that's and true. they can get away with a little bit more as far as the content's yeah. concerned. So yeah. I understand. And uh, a prior to filming, a year prior actually, uh, it was featured on the 2014 Blacklist. Um, if you don't know what the blacklist is, it is, it sounds like a bad thing. It's a television show too. It is. And it <laughs> sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. It's actually a list of the most liked screenplays that have yet to be produced. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah. this was apparently very well liked before it was even a movie. Understandably so. so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, th that <laughs> perfect <laughs> gives way to what we're yeah, talking about kinda, Yeah, it kind of goes so, right into it. go right ahead. <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> So I watched this movie when it first came out and kind of just left it be, came back to it to do this. <laughs> and left it be, that's left, kind of... Yeah. Right. <laughs> but um, no, you know, for a horror comedy, pretty awesome. Yeah. Not going to lie. Not my favorite, though. Okay. Kind of just like hokey. <laughs> um, it, I know it was meant to be that way, yeah. so like I'm not going to dog it too hard on that sense, but just... I don't know. Uh, like you said, I would have rather it been in theaters. Yeah. Because I would have liked to have seen it be a little bit more gritty mm -hmm. and a little less tame. Because I feel like, sure. though it was brutal, though there were some pretty awesome kills in it, those would have been way more over the top if it wasn't yeah. meant for a mainstream sure. streaming service. Sure. So, but as a whole, though, decent movie. Yeah. Not my favorite, though. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a division line again? Well, I love this movie. Uh -huh. um, I like that it's hokey. I've said that a million times about a million different movies. I love that ever since I saw Scream the first time. Mm -hmm. Like, that's when I really started falling in love with the genre of, like, this is totally lame, but in the best way. Right. Whatever genre that is. Um, and you can tell this is totally, like, paying tribute to a lot of 70s and 80s horror movies. Yeah. Which, I love movies like that, too. Um, the whole aspect of, like, the babysitter thing goes back to, you know, Halloween. Yeah. You know, so it's, for nostalgia purposes, I loved that. Um, even though the, the like, broad concept is hokey, the, the 
writing itself, I feel, was really complex. Mm -hmm. um, and the storyline was almost complex. But I, since you haven't seen the second one, I don't want to give too much away. Um, but in the second one, it does get way more complex. So okay. I almost feel like you'd appreciate the second one more. But yeah, I love this movie. That's why I picked it. Yeah. I didn't realize I picked it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you love it now that you remembered it. <laughs> I just didn't remember which one I picked. But yeah, yeah, great movie. Yeah, you know what? The, the, that works. So um, what did you guys think about this movie? Make sure to sound off in the comments here below without spoilers. Save those for uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or email. And we'll discuss it a little bit further there. Um, if you guys notice at the end of these, you'll see some new fun because I've discovered how to do some new fun things. <laughs> so normally at the beginning, I'd tell you all this, but uh, just please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for all things horror. There will be a thing here to remind you to do exactly that. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back at you this week with some more fun and uh, my victory, my well-earned victory. His only victory. <laughs> right now. We'll see about that. <laughs> so with that being said, scare you later, YouTube.